John Mahama and the NDC argued that none of the candidates who contested the polls obtained more than 50% of the vote cast. They also alleged that the person said to have won the polls benefited from, from vote padding. The NDC further claimed that the candidate declared winner benefited from arithmetic and computational errors. They invited the court to annul the result of the polls and ordered the EC to organize a runoff between John Mahama and Nana Adodankwe Kufuado. Let's take you back to time when Asiudu Nketia testified for the election petition brought to court by his party. Now, in all the figures that we have mentioned as a valid vote cast and all those things, you were saying uh, if the figures were correct, if the figures were correct and that there were inconsistencies in the figures, I want to ask you, Now, in your own calculation, what were the total valid votes cast in the presidential elections on 7 December 2020? In your own calculation. Now, those calculations are uh, reserved for a meeting for us to reconcile the figures because the, uh, the first respondent herself keeps changing the figures. And so it says, That's when you bring your first so the look at you, no. help the court. You see, when you started giving evidence, you said you had all the representatives across the 275 constituencies. You said you put it as uh, to Tuesday. Yes, and they were to I mean, collect the figures. You said it. Then he's asking you that from that, what figure did you get? You, you. My Lord, I haven't brought that figure to court. But two years down the line, Johnson Asiedu Nketia says the party did not have evidence before heading to court. I know that you have a collision. The system has a bad set. And you yeah, robust and yeah, strong fire and fire collision. You collect five regions now or say a crash. He told us the system was strong and robust. However, after collecting the results for five regions, the system crashed. At the right time, say that the better challenging the track of and so cut out here on the record. That was why we didn't have the results at the right time to challenge the electoral commission's results. That's not all. He also accused the Vice President, Dr. Mahamudu Baumia, of influencing Osei Kwame Griffith, the NDC's director of IT, to interfere with the coalition system that the party set up for the 2020 presidential and parliamentary elections. And then, we said we wanted to collate the figures manually, together with a team of university students. Griffiths again failed to do a good job. Or you're prepared to resign as our national chair. Ofosu Ampofu said he was ready to step down as leader of the party if he don't appoint Griffiths as the director of IT. The year appointing no, director of IT no. Griffiths. 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 Griffiths no. Or no Akamba nim say Griffiths ne baumia. Akamba during the meeting mentioned that the person to be appointed as a director of IT has some underhand dealings with Vice President Baumia and that the party has to be extremely careful in handing over its election coalition mission.